Hi, this is a guided meditation for the new moon of September 2024. So new moons signify new beginnings. It's a good opportunity to let go of anything that you no longer need in your life and embrace the new. And sometimes you might not know what that is. And something I've learned over the last sort of 10 months or so is just to be open to that and just have faith because some massive changes have happened in my life since I started listening to my dreams and taking action even though it was scary and it didn't seem to make any logical sense. Well if this is you if this is your first time here on my channel, welcome and please subscribe and uh, hit the notification button below because every subscriber helps. Every minute of watch time helps me to grow my channel and spread the benefits of meditation to more and more people. So in this uh, guided meditation, we're going to be open to receiving and trying not to have any expectations about what that is, is going to look like. Um, and, and noticing also when there's any resistance to what's happening, because that's been a big working ground for me, is like, I have these you know, we all do, we have these fixed ideas and we think, oh, yeah, I'm going after this particular goal, this particular outcome, but it might not look like what we want or what we expect. And generally, it, it, it tends to be a lot better. And at the moment, I'm currently in Australia. I'm staying with my son now. Um, I've been traveling around. If you've been following me, you will have been following my journey a bit as well. And that all emerged out of a dream that I had last November. And today, this morning, I had what felt like another very strong dream. You know when you have them, don't you? And um, and then it it was like what I when I initially woke up, I thought it meant one thing, and then when I sort of sat with it I realized actually this is symbolic you know dreams aren't literal <laughs> they um they meet when you look at the symbolism behind the dream because it was quite shocking at first because it involved um a, 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 something quite violent I won't go into details but what I realized that actually this was my like the death of my old life and um and the new one coming in so uh it might not be such a big change in your life you know change is gradual and sometimes you know just tweaks and that's what has happened you know it's like you take steps towards what your whatever your outcome your goal is and then suddenly, you know, you're going along like that because growth isn't isn't linear. It doesn't go like that. You might be going along for a bit and think, oh, not much is happening, blah, blah. And suddenly, you go, suddenly all this stuff starts happening. And the key is how you respond to that. So in this guided meditation, as why we said, we're going to be open to receiving and also noticing if there is any resistance to what is happening, any judgments. And again be always be kind to yourself and if there are any judgmental thoughts coming up and not wanting whatever's happening to be happening notice that because that's what causes our suffering is when we want things to be different to how they actually are and then we we and if we can be in that place of accepting whatever's happening and that doesn't mean to say that you act, that you become like a doormat and just let oh let all these bad things happen. You then have a choice how you respond. Am I going to change this? Am I going to walk away? Um, is there anything that I can do about this? Or maybe there isn't. 
at this current time. So it just gives you that space, being in the gap between um, an event and then responding to it. Because most people just go on autopilot. Something happens, boom, subconscious mind kicks in and they respond automatically. And it does take practice, you know, we're human, we will still be reactive. But with meditation, the gap gets wider and we become less reactive and more open and allowing that time it's like when we think have an idea it's like and then we can think oh well I don't know how this is going to happen and we get caught up in thinking in our heads and thinking I need to know the how but actually if we allow that space the answers will come okay get into a comfortable position if you need to pause the video you can light a candle have some flowers and when you're ready, take some deep breaths. If you wish, you can close your eyes or just have a soft gaze in front of you. And if it's possible for you, you can have your hands resting, palms upward open, receiving, letting go. And just feeling the breath. The movement of the body with the in-breath and the out-breath. If your mind wanders off, gently bring it back. And now, bring your awareness into your heart. And if it's possible for you, allow your heart to become more open with each breath. You can imagine breathing in and out through the heart. And with each breath, it opens just a little bit more to the love that's in there. Receiving love. And what would your heart really love right now? Just being open. Feeling the love. Observing the breath.
And you might notice feelings and emotions coming up. Don't try and suppress anything. Feel what you feel. Let the energy just move around the body. Because everything is energy. The emotions are energy in motion. Coming back to feeling the ground beneath you. If the mind is busy, reconnecting with the breath and the heart. And all the while, we're just tapping into the energy of the new moon. New beginnings. Every day can be a fresh start. The past is gone, it doesn't define you. And allow that into your life now. Be open to all the possibilities that life has to offer. Feel free to sit on for longer if you wish, allowing your heart to open and expand even more. If you want, you can also grab a journal, capture down any thoughts or ideas, do some free writing. And then when you're ready, you can just start to move the body a bit. Be aware of the space that your body takes up. 
in the space around your body. And if your eyes are closed, gently open them. Thank you for joining me again today. If you do enjoy my guided meditations, then please uh, make a donation to support my work. Buy me a cup of tea and allows me to spread the ben benefit of meditation to more and more beings. So I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you again very soon. In the meantime, happy meditating, take care, go well, and lots of love.